Hey guys, Uber Zero here, bringing you my deck profile for uh, the WCQ 2013. I was not able to top. Um, I pretty much came in late today too, got a match loss, put me X3, and basically I was just like, sure, I'll keep playing. I ended up X, I won out the last two rounds. I ended up 97. Um, I really think I, I, I think top in for me wasn't even a question. I think. I had so much confidence in myself and my and my ability to play this deck that I was just like I I wrecked I started six zero won my game in table one to a mirror match the guy was really good uh, I finally lost to um I lost to the card that I I I mean I I didn't look it up but like I kind of figured it out on my on my own but I lost to the Activation Virus, which is like basically it ate, it ate my hand trap, my Swiss character and my maxi, and that's because I kept like sitting on a maxi's every turn because I kept maxiing his plays and he like I kept running a maxi of my of that plus one that he kept giving me just to like, maintain board present. But he finally went Colossal Fighter, set a card pass turn. Um, I went, he maxied me, I stopped, I passed, I set a card pass turn, and he just um, he went, he attacked my guy. And taking for twenty eight, it was my blaster. He taking for twenty eight, and then um, uh, at his end phase, he psych he killed his colossal to take my my burner, my Swiss character, my maxi, <laughs> and I think I, no, I didn't have a veiler, but like yeah, he took three cards out of my hand, and basically he put me on tilt because I had no hand trap to recover. Basically, and he had, we both have full graveyards because we basically were kind of maxing each other, so it happens. Um, I was able to play a, a regional qualifier. I I won. Obviously, I got my Draco segment. I, I was so happy. I was hoping that I was I would be able to get one before you know the the match change for next season. Um, all right. Well, we're just gonna do a little quick update to the deck. Um, um, we're just gonna talk about this. Um, we're gonna talk about hand traps. Two veilers. Uh, the cards like necessary. I don't like three because. I don't like drawing. I I like to keep it like element wise. So veilers are light, so it's not really like help the engine. It just like helps you to synchro and to negate stuff. Trip maxis and max the mirror match was everywhere. I I knew the mirror match was gonna be everywhere. A lot of people like were going with books for the event, but I knew mirror match was gonna be my my toughest match. So I would decide to stick with the three maxis. I think everybody else plays play maxi anyways. Triple maxi anyways. Double Swiss Kirkrow, basically the mirror match is an earth. It helps to like it helps the synergy of the deck. Uh, it saves you a lot of times. Like it, it buys you an extra turn to draw a card. It buys you the turn that you need to to wait for your goals arc and and stuff like that. So double Swiss Kirkrow is definitely my my uh, choice. I know a lot of people are playing one inside the second one, but like I definitely went in with two. Um, Corsica was my my win dragon tuner. Uh, I did not choose to play Flamewell Guard. I chose to play something else. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then my baby engine was double reacting, one lightning, double stream, and double burner. Um, I only play one lightning because I feel like once I get temp um, tempest is not the strongest one, but like I like to like just get them off of one play, and I don't like throwing babies too much late game because they just like. Baby for baby. I don't know. I, I don't really have a good explanation why I only play one. Um, I uh, I got it from a... It was an idea from an LCG friend that I have on Dual Network. And I stick... I've been playing one lightning for, for like ever. Uh, basically, also limiting your... I mean, not limiting on resources, but like... Playing one less than everybody else is playing allows you to play more cards. And stay within the, the card range. The, account, the, the deck count range that you want to stay at. My, for example, is 44. I was very comfortable playing 44 cards this event. So, um, this lineup kind of really helped me to, like, play the extra cards that kind of, like, got me my regional qualifier. That, like, got me the really quick start in the beginning. Um, uh, then we have, for the big ones, double Red Ox, triple Blaster, obviously, triple Title, and triple Tempest. Um... Now I only play two red oxes because the the deck is full with a lot of earth that will supply the red ox father. We have Maxi, we have Swiss Scarecrow, we have Scrap Dragon, uh, and the babies themselves. So I feel like red once you once I get a red ox in the graveyard, everything else becomes father for red ox. So I don't really want to like keep reacting him for red ox once I only got two. So that's minus two cards that everybody else plays. So my deck obviously. You will see the changes that a lot of people don't play because I know a lot of people are playing um, 
What's that called? Treacherous Trapple because they only play spells in the one trap card. Uh, my tech for the week was Jamada Dragon. This card won me two games because of the recovery. It's not a plus. It's it's a recovery because you're depleting your hand just to just to summon this card and to get to get ahead off with this card to draw to your five cards. It's just amazing because your your whole advantage is built on your graveyard. So as you're like building up your field, you're basically setting up your graveyard, and then you get ahead of all this. You draw into your hand traps. You can draw into your rejuvenations and anything you need. So he's a seven. He's a dragon. He's a fire. All good reasons to go in with this card. Um, I chose to play this over the fire tuner on top of that too. Um, in my pre previous testing, this was a uh, Vanny's fiend. But I chose to go with the element. I did get to I did get to use it for blasters effect a couple times. It did win me. Uh, the the only time this card kind of, this card kind of resolve was basically a mirror match when like you know you don't have to really worry about back rows. It's just like getting around to token, killing a tempest or econ in a red ox into attack mode, and you swing into it and get and just get the damage in no matter what. Because that that advantage that that card will give you is just way crucial in the mirror. Like, it won me a match because I drew a Baylor out of it. And I was able to stop my... Because I had, I had a Book of Moon set, so I was able to stop the Draco side that he summoned, and then he tend to go Big Eye, and I and I Baylor him. So, Jamada Dragon was really one of my favorite cards for for, Ryan for the whole week. For spells, basically pretty staple, heavy, one Gold Sark, Book of Moon, um, I mean Dark Hole Book of Moon, card destruction, double enemy controller, it was my choice going to into this meta. Uh, the deck creates an infinite amount of field presence. Uh, this card really becomes brain control if you're using it the way you're supposed to use it. Uh, we have Reborn, Double Sacred Sword. I almost wanted to play three. I feel like this card is it doesn't slow you down, but like it does start your engine. And and with a deck like mine, I want to dig through. I want to dig for a hand trap. I want to dig for a defensive card. I just want to like you know f find. I, I want a super rejuvenation. It's just drawing drawing cards has always never been bad in in this game, especially when you, when you're getting a plus one of the of the of the dragon that you're banishing. So it's not like cards for black feathers, you know. You're not skipping your battle phase. You get still special summon. So that's why that was my reason why I'm playing two swords. I might try three eventually, because I feel like gold star will get hit somehow. But like I'm already only playing one, so doesn't really matter. I did choose to play dark hole in the last minute. Because um, it was just too good not to play. I've been testing without it for a while, so like having the ability to like throw dark hole and like completely change the board is it was just too powerful to pass on. And then for my trap cards, Regeki Break, Dull Benny, Emptiness, and Compulse with my choice for back rows. Uh, Emptiness primarily mirror match. I knew I was gonna walk into like mirror match left and right, so I I didn't want to like keep this in my side deck. I wanted to just go in there and like set up. Empty net, make them take the minus one or minus two. If they are rejuved, they'll just bounce out to to a to a minus one. But still, uh, emptiness was my choice. For, was my choice for going to the event. And then Regeki Break is good removal. And whatever you discard out of it is usually father for the graveyard later on. So and Compulse is an amazing trap card in this format. But I couldn't afford to play more than one. So that's the main deck, guys. That's 44 cards. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys my side deck real quick. Um, Let's see. I had double skill drain for the uh, primarily. I, I basically use it for spellbooks and evil swords. Uh, I didn't play any Constellers, Constell but I would definitely use it against that deck too. Um, I had double eradicator, obviously, for both the same decks. Like, evil swords play massive trap cards, and spellbooks, like, you just write their spells. And it's not hard to set up for this card. Uh, one decree for uh, being able to stop. Being able to stop um, uh, multiple plays from um, from uh, um, evil sworn, and even in, I I did use it against spell books. I was able to stop um, game three against one book. He he said um, soul drain, no, no mind drain, and um, and what's that called? Summon limit. Uh, I let I passed her, and I, I mean I didn't pass her. I went draw, and I went anything before my face one. He flipped the he flipped the. Um, the mind drain took a thousand. I flipped my decree, thinking, oh, maybe he has solemn. But if I even if I bait him out with this, I can st I can still get him to like thirty five hundred life points and just try to push. Um, he didn't he didn't have it, so I decreed him right there and I OTK him. 
at 7,000. I was only able to deal 78 because I didn't have the 28, 28, 26, or, I mean, 26, 26, 28 combo, but I, do, I did was able to hold the game that turn. Uh, and then, you know, a Deck Devastation Virus. This is the card that, I, that basically <laughs> lost me in the game because someone used it at me, but, like, it was definitely a card to definitely go into the, into the event with, uh, knowing that everything would revolve around hand traps in the mirror match. Um, then for monsters, we have... One E virus. I didn't want to do two because I felt like every good player, every every good dragon player knows not to keep a dragon or a dra I mean a dragon stack on the field. So it's like I don't want to just throw into this and like just sit on it and my engine not be there. So I didn't want to rely completely on E virus to win my games. So I only decided to side one. Uh, one draw lock. It's five bucks. Yeah, I just want to have the ability to to have a draw locker. Uh, two kaikus. Because Kaiko is just amazing. It was, it was really good in the mirror match because I only just make like a, a field presence and like summon Kaiku after my. Especially when my opponent has like the worst hand when they just go like they have to make a Draco Sack and like they don't even have Maxi. They just have to make a Draco Sack and like pass turn just to get their graveyard started. And I used to go like. I would just go uh, summon guys, attack, attack, Draco. Even if they don't do anything, I'll just like get rid of their Draco by just attacking it with like other monsters and you summon Kaiku. And I pass her and didn't really, they, they really didn't, couldn't do anything. Uh, double Fusilers, obviously this is a card that will combine, um, make plays with Eradicator and DDB. I did end up citing one for this, just to have a quicker way to set it up for it. Um, but yeah, definitely against Evil Sworn, Skill Drain, Fusilor is just 20, he beat it for no reason. And then for the attacks, obviously Tsukiyomi is good against Evil Sworn, good against Spellbox, booking the Jogging, booking the Ophian. One more from your number two, just for that Ophian situation as well. Like any rogue matches I would do, um, and then one Avalus because Avalus was just one of the cards I felt like I should play because I know a lot of people playing Dark Hole and that did buy me the ass a couple times, but I I was I was holding a Maxi so I was able to draw out of it because I, he black ro one black roast me and one guy Dark Hole me so it ended up working out for me. Uh, for the extra deck. Uh, pretty standard. I believe it's pretty standard for, in my opinion. Nothing too special. I know people are like Like renting on me like how do you fit that in your deck cuz some people are playing triple big eye I decided not to play triple big eye. I made the second big eye I never had to like go beyond it the point of having like to make a third big eye So I did one time ran out of Draco's Axe. So uh, We all wish we could play four of those so Gaia Dragon Gaios Colossal um, Stardust, key card, it definitely, Stardust, so, Stardust Emptiness was, like, a, an amazing lockdown. Like, my opponents would, like, try to special, I would go lock, I would go, uh, Emptiness, they would, like, either, they would even try to blast for my guy, I'll, obviously I'll defend, and the Emptiness will die, but at that point, they already used one mini, they already used Blaster, or Heavy, or anything they use. So, resources-wise... <laughs> Having and I, I know this is not obviously not as good as Radiant Stardust, which is in the OCG. And I know my friend uh, Stefan, like Akuma1921, was telling me, like, yeah, I don't want to play like Emptiness main deck because I don't have Radiant Stardust, but like, it definitely like worked for me. But like, I don't know, he's just ignorant sometimes and doesn't want to listen, so it's whatever. Um, Scrap Dragon, and then Thar Ruler, Crimson, Red Dragon for a dra for the dragon, and it's um, a virus target. And then Berate and and Army Arm. I chose not to play Black Rose just because I feel like I I had different outs to to um since I was playing Dark Hole I had outs to um what's gonna call it um Obelisk. I didn't really and nobody ever summoned an Obelisk on me so then again you can also make guys and just stole the Obelisk for a little bit until you draw Dark Hole. So that's the deck guys. I hope you like it. Uh, I would love some feedback, but I definitely like. It's, this is the tech that I've been practicing forever. I don't know if I'm going to Gen Con yet, but like, until next time, Uber Zero I, Uber Zero here, call me Death Monk Master now. So um, just I'm gonna put the link to my video on my on my that on my profile and Donut Network. So like, follow me there if you if you do follow me there. And then once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Uh, thanks a lot, guys.